climate change is the general changing of the climate. Are we talking about warming? Are we talking about cooling? We're talking about all sorts of mixes of that. And, and with climate change, it comes into what the gases in the atmosphere are. And climate change is a very big issue. Some of the issues that go along with climate change, some of them are meat production. And it's not necessarily the consumption of meat and how much you eat, it's more of like how that meat gets to you. So it's like the process that goes into feeding the cattle and making sure that they're, they have their nutrition and all the food and the water that is wasted on them. And then next after that is also food consumption and it's how much food you eat. And it's not necessarily how much food you eat, it's how much you're serving yourself and then just throwing away. There's no doubt that climate change is a thing. Scientists agree that climate change is a thing. What the conversation becomes is why is climate change a thing? And you know, we've got 95% of climate scientists who are saying it's man-made, and then we have 5% who are saying it's not man-made, and yet for some reason we're allowing people to have that debate. With climate change becoming such a huge debate, and with the 2016 election in full swing, each candidate views this problem in a different way. From a political standpoint, it's a lot more challenging when you hear the news and when you kind of see things on TV from different political candidates, uh, at least it appears as though there's wide, still wide debate about the climate issue. And so in one sense, uh, the, the questioning of climate change is a politically easy answer uh, to a politically and practically very difficult question. But to me, climate change is one of those issues that really is, is getting at to a larger philosophical issue of government involvement in our lives and in, in the business realm. The Democratic candidates believe in climate change. They believe man-made climate change is an issue, and they believe that it's the responsibility of the federal government working really with everybody in the world to fix this. But we have Bernie Sanders, who has always been for, um, for the environment. You know, it makes sense where he's from in New England. It just comes up more naturally there. Um, and he believes that climate change is an issue that should be addressed. At the 2015 United Nations Climate Change Conference, from November 30th through December 12th, 55 countries gathered in Paris, France, to create a global agreement on the reduction of greenhouse gases. Uh, there was an announcement that uh, the president's clean power plan that was kind of the backbone of the goals that were brought to Paris um, have been challenged in court and the Supreme Court has at least put a pause button, pressed the pause button on the requirement for states to come up with climate reduction goals uh, by uh, something like 2020. Bernie Sanders is pro-regulation. He believes that through these processes that the clean power plan that's set up by Barack Obama is not sufficient, that we should have more taxing of carbon, um, of carbon emissions, that we should have less fracking, that this is the job of the federal government is to protect against this. As Secretary of State, Clinton supported the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which promotes the burning and usage of fossil fuels. Now, as a candidate for the presidency, she has become more of a climate change advocate, completely switching her previous views on the topic. The Republicans are generally in agreement that climate change should not be addressed by the federal government. Some of the candidates might say it's because it's not a thing, um, and some of them would say because it's not the responsibility of the federal government. But the real difference, and I think the reason we're not seeing any debates on it, is that they're generally in agreement on the Republican side that climate change should not be addressed right now by the federal government, by the President of the United States. And on the Democratic side, they believe that it should be, and that's their responsibility. So I think the biggest problem in looking at Donald Trump's stance on climate change is that Trump's stances change regularly. He's not a trained politician in that he doesn't have one message that he lives on. Um, I think it was in November of last year we had him saying that he doesn't recognize that man-made climate change is a thing. And just two months later, in a different audience, he said that climate change is happening and it's all in how we address it. Sometimes he tells us that he doesn't understand climate change and sometimes he tells us that climate change is happening but it's not the responsibility of the federal government to deal with it, that that's the responsibility of businesses to deal with it. Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, and Donald Trump all do not view climate change as an important topic. We are now at the point in history where we have to do something. 
and where no longer can one person just act, no longer does my recycling or my doing something better or my buying the right light bulbs make a difference. Because we now need legislation, regulations, rules on a massive scale to be able to turn this back. And all the Republicans are saying that's not what we're looking for. And the Democrats are saying we recognize that it's an issue. Um, and I don't know that the Republicans are representative of the people who are voting for the Republican Party. I think more people understand climate change is an issue than the leaders of the party. But that's also becoming an issue because it's not a debate. We're not debating on climate change. It's, it's a nil issue for the purpose of most voters.